In 2002, Preston became a city. And as you know, most cities and major towns are quite congested. A lot of our European cousins enjoy the comfort of tram travel. And considering the first passenger tram system was born in Wales in 1807, the Swansea and Mumbles Railway, it was scrapped like so many across the UK. We again now are a little bit late to the party when it comes to reviving this once common and vital form of transport. Tram travel is perfect. Having a rail system and being able to whistle on the streets of a busy city or town is definitely the most efficient form of transport. It's good for the environment, it definitely boosts the local economy. The combination of having an integrated rail and tram system, in my mind, is an absolute no-brainer. So why did we tarmac over so many of our tram systems? Like the heavy rail, car was once king, and from the 1930s onwards, it was thought you will be able to travel better and quicker by car or bus in any town or city. Trams, well, they kind of got in the way. And Blackpool was lucky in a way. I think the saving grace was pulled because we had a promenade. It didn't interfere with the impatient car drivers. But we lost a lot of our tram network that was sort of within the town itself. But with Blackpool being a, a tourist destination, maybe the town planners thought it was a good idea to keep the trams on the promenade. And a good job that they did too. And as much as I love the current changes and upgrades in our train travel across the region, trams and buses are deeply rooted in my family. My grandfather, well, he worked for Blackpool Transport before World War II and continued up the ranks to an inspector. His father was a permanent way foreman who was in charge of the navvies who built the tram tracks here in Blackpool. And passenger transport has always fascinated me from a small age, but like with many areas in the UK, it's either been axed or drastically reduced. However, recently within a generation, cities across the kingdom are seeing better transport links, including trams introduced or expanded here, like on the Fylde Coast. So the nearest city or town to Blackpool that's got a promise of a tram system is Preston, our friend Preston. Now they had the tram system originally between 1886 and 1934 and again like many others across the country it got scrapped in the idea of using the motor car. <laughs> But unless you've been wearing anti-tram earmuffs, Preston is destined to have a return of their tram system. The Preston Guild Line, it shall be named, linking up key areas of the city like the university, the hospital, a park and ride system and the railway station. This is all part of the city transport plans to improve the transport system across the area, connecting the city centre through Deepdale, Brookfield areas to Red Sky Industrial Estate with a park and ride stop. The vision will involve off-street grass tracks with an improved footpaths and cycleway with gluing the tracks into the road system as used in Sheffield since 1996, a low maintenance option and laid in segments so they have minimal disruption on the current traffic. So it's crunch time. When is Preston due to have its tram system up and running and operational? Well, nobody actually knows at the moment. A few problems have sort of cropped up, as it were, which is inevitable when you're reintroducing infrastructure or anything into the common world, as it were. A footbridge at Avonham Park flagged up more than 200 faults, so they had to shut it due to fears of it collapsing, and the chances are it will be replaced, not repaired. Council plan has also allowed the chicken factory to extend its premises in the Deepdale area, thus interfering with the tram's test track bed. But that's the nature of the beast, as it were. Nothing is plain sailing when it comes to building or developing any type of new infrastructure. So, OK, so one silver lining out of this is that the developers are looking towards using an old track bed that once ran from Preston to Longridge. A great way of using an abandoned railway line by putting trams on it. And it's not as if Longridge couldn't do with a decent tram connection service to its parent city at Preston. <laughs> <laughs>